Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, I thought we'd do a bit of work on the Evo today. We'll just start by taking off the front bar and the stock intercooler and the piping and we'll try to uh, dummy fit everything on, make sure everything lines up with the new Mishimoto intercooler kit. So let's go. Alright guys, that's front bar, uh, front mount intercooler and the stock intercooler piping out. So let's go on and fit the new Mishimoto front mount intercooler kit. Yeah guys, just wanted to show you guys the difference between the stock one and the Mishimoto one that I'm putting on. This is the Mishimoto one. It's way thicker than the standard one. The standard one's got a bit of rust coming through. The comparison. Just way thicker, way bigger than the standard one. See these uh these new Mishimoto intercoolers they don't come with uh, these little grommets. See they don't come with them. So I'll just show you um, a little trick. It saves you money from going to buy a new one. So you just get the, you just grab the 10 mil deep, put it in there, and then you just smack it down, and then reuse it with the Mishimoto one.
All right, guys, so we've got the front magnet cooler installed. So we're just gonna line up all the pipes. So we just gotta line up all these pipes. With all these hoses and put the T-clamps on. Alright, so I've lined up the throttle body. Alright guys, so I've actually um, managed to put all the pipes in. I haven't tightened up the clamps yet, because I've still got to uh, wriggle around. I want to make sure everything lines up nice before I tighten all the clamps up and set the pipes into place. As you can see here, pretty nice little unit. Uh, a little bit fiddly to to put in because the the silicon joiners were really really tight because they're brand new but apart from that um, pretty simple job to do so I'll just go ahead and um, start tightening up the clamps All right guys, so that's the Mishimoto intercooler and piping installed. Here's just a quick look. So it's looking pretty good. Um, a little bit fiddly because all the silicon hoses were all brand spanking new and they were so tight. Um, just a warning, the race intercooler doesn't actually work with the um, with the condenser fan so it's actually touching a little bit I don't know if you can see but I made it work I took out these uh, these grommets just to give a little bit extra space yeah so so now I've got to find a workshop to weld the new flange on for the turbo smart blow off valve um, I'm probably gonna end up putting it here closest to the furrow or I can just you know just weld it here or under here so someone I've got to find someone to weld that um, and also I've got a air sensor in my in my other old pipe so I've got to tap tap that under here tap and screw it in um, I've got the SAS hose here. I'm gonna find a hose, try to use the blow off valve pipe. The blow off valve pipe here. I'm gonna try and hook that up. Uh, once I get my manifold, I'm not gonna need it anyways, so it's gonna be deleted anyways, and then I'll end up blanking off that. 
Um, yeah, so this is it for today, and tomorrow's another day. All right, guys, just a quick update. Um, I've managed to find someone to weld the flange onto the new intercooler pipe. So I've just installed the uh, blow off valve right now. So pretty simple. Um, yeah, just pretty much just place it on V band with these clamps here and just rotate it to suit whichever way you want your um, hose to go. That's pretty much it. So kits in. I've installed the airbox cover back on. So pretty much just gotta throw the um, front bumper back and then we're good to go for a test drive. Alright guys, the um, Mishimoto intercooler kit is in, the blow off valve is installed, I think it looks pretty nice, I like the white on black, which is why I got black, it's a bit of a stealth look, so nobody can really see that there's a big intercooler behind there, so it doesn't attract any um, unnecessary attention there, like the police. So that's it for this video, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.